Hi, my name is Michelle Akins and I'm president and CEO of Sepia Prime Woman. I thought I'd send a post a little inspirational to talk about what to do after the big events in our lives. We're in the middle of a big event right now because election day is going on all around our country. And a month ago, Sepia Prime Woman had its first bold move event. And big events usually bring a lot of, of, there's a lot of preparation and work and emotion and all those things that are put into the planning of a big event. And after the big event, there are a lot of different emotions that may surprise you. Um, I write plays. Yeah, I do that too. And one of the things I noticed after the rehearsals and the casting calls and the productions and the pulling the songs together and the day of the performance comes and after the performing is over and after we've left the theater and when I wake up the next day, there's always a feeling of being let down. Not necessarily because the event wasn't successful, but because this big event that for months you looked forward to is over. So, since we're in the, the throes of the election, and I purposely wanted to do this before any results came in, I want to talk just for a few minutes about what to do after the big event. The first thing you have to do after the big event, we're all going to go to sleep. Some of us are going to go to sleep really happy, and some of us are going to go to sleep really disappointed. But the next day when we wake up, what you have to do first is get up. Regardless of how things turn out today, you still have to get up tomorrow. In the Bible, there was a, a time when Jesus took three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, and they went to a mountain, and it's, it's referred to as the Mountain of Transfiguration because those three men got to see Jesus in a way that they had not seen him before. He was talking with Moses and Elijah. And Peter said, let's build a tabernacle here. And the implication is when you build a tabernacle, it's someplace you want to come back to regularly and, and just hang out or worship. But the work wasn't on the big event of the Mountain of Transfiguration. It was down in the valley where things were going crazy. So regardless of how your big event turns out, you have to get up. And you can't stay in whatever place you want to stay. And that can go one of two ways. It can be if it's terrible, oh, I just want to stay in bed. I want to cover my head from your perspective. You want to stay in bed. Or if it was amazing and extraordinary, then you want to stay there. But you can't stay there regardless of how your big event turns out. Whatever it is, whether it's a baby or a marriage or a new job or a new initiative, the first thing you have to do is you have to get up. And after you get up, you have to decide to move forward. I like the sentiment behind this, this election because it wasn't a slogan or some fancy alliteration. It was one word, forward. And so that means that there's one of two directions you can choose to go. You can go backwards or you can go forwards. To go backwards implies that you wanna keep looking at the things that disappointed you, that didn't work out right, that you're not so sure about, that you, the people who hurt you, all of those things are backwards. So you can choose after your big event to get up and then move forward. I know what's in front of us is oftentimes uncertain. But do you really want to trade the promises of the future for the pain of the past? I don't think you do. So regardless of how you are feeling after your big event, whatever it is, whether it turned out wonderfully or whether in your mind it was a bust, you got to move forward. The third thing I want you to do you have to believe the best in spite of. No matter how your big event turns out, 
whatever that event is, keep believing the best about your ability to exceed anything that would come against you. You are bigger than any hurdle that can be tossed in your direction. You are bigger than any defeat that you may feel because it's just temporary. I need you, one, to believe the very best about your ability to move forward and to succeed. And I also need you to understand that no failure, no disappointment, no, no letdown, no big event that fizzles out is bigger, is big enough to change what God has said about you. You are still who he said, fearfully and wonderfully made. Move forward. No, get up, move forward, and believe the best.